what is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, back with another Classic WoW Hardcore video for you. So, today we are talking about Classic WoW Hardcore, kind of like a review of the entire thing, talking about the launch and giving my opinions on Hardcore now, that has been out for about 2 months. I think this video is something that most people would make like a month into the game itself or something, but I wanted to give it some time. The thing is for Hardcore, the honeymoon phase lasted until right about now, and to be honest it's still incredibly popular, more so than I was thinking, and it's turned out different than I was expecting when it came out. So I want to talk about that as well, but basically give my review on Hardcore as a whole, talk a little about, bit about the future of Hardcore class Classic WoW, and talk about my stance on everything as well. So that's what we're doing today boys. Now first of all, you might have noticed that the last three videos on this channel has been Classic WoW or actually Wrath Classic related instead of Hardcore, so I'm taking a small break from Hardcore itself. I am logging on a couple of times every single week, burning some rested experience, but for the most part I think I've accomplished what I wanted to do in the first kind of phase of hardcore. The next phase for me would be raiding, in which case I already have one level 60 as you can see here. I have a level 51 and a level 53, and my stance has always been that I want to have several 60s before I start raiding, and I want there to be multiple raiding guilds before I start raiding as well, because my ambitions have never been to be like on the realm first guild or anything, I just want to do some endgame content, I want to have some fun, level some alts, get to level 60, and then do some endgame content, so eventually I want to do some endgame content, but for now I think we're in a pretty solid spot, and then slowly but surely getting both this druid right here and the rogue to level 60 as well, and then we have a professional alt right here, like all of these three characters by the way. They have alchemy and leather working, so I'm making passive gold every two or three days. Two days with alchemy and three days with le leather working. I'm making about like 10 gold per day in those kind of increments. So 10 gold per day per character, it's not much, but it adds up over time, even though I'm not actively playing the game. So this is where I'm at, this is all of my characters, a level 60 warlock, 50 wonder druid, 53 rogue, and for these three characters I leveled each and every one of them in a different way. The Warlock I was in a duo all the way from level 1 to level 60. Uh, the Druid I was in a trio, so 3 man leveling party from level 10 to level 45 I think. And from 45 to 51 it's been both solo and a duo. And then we have the Rogue which has been completely solo all the way from the start. So it's been like different leveling kind of playstyles for every single character, which has been really fun for me. And then we have like some alts here and there, the, the hunter I'm probably never going to level up, but the warrior I do want to level up at some point, the mage as well, the paladin, I kind of want to be a holy paladin, but I also know leveling a paladin can be really boring over time, so we'll see how that goes. Now then, let's get into the review part of the video, talk about how hardcore has gone down, how it's been different from my expectations, and I'll tell you this. It's been way different, like even myself, I was, if I had a scale from 1 to 10 on how hyped I was for Hardcore, I think I was at a solid 9 the week before it came out, and then suddenly on launch day it pushed me like to 11, or at least 10 in this case, like it, it drove my hype up to the maximum, and seeing almost everyone jump on, like so many people jumped onto Hardcore Classic WoW, people that I didn't think was going to play, and even friends of mine that said they would never play Classic WoW again, they came back for Hardcore. I even met them in real life and I asked them, are you going to play, and they were like, I'm, I don't think so. And then the first week, I literally saw them online, it's just drawn people back, and the same people that said they would never raid in Hardcore Classic WoW, they are now level 60, and they're farming pre -bis. I've seen so many people, myself included, that said they wasn't going to raid on Hardcore, we're now farming pre -bis, and we want to do endgame, and for raiding guilds as well, like in week 1 and week 2, it was really looking like there was going to be 2 guilds. We had one on EU and one on NA, like Frontier was really good, obviously. They've already cleared all the raids as well, I think. They cleared Next Farmers at least, so they basically beat the game, but it was looking like it was going to be two big guilds, one on every single region. And I guess that's kind of true, but also right now, especially on Stitches, there's way more raiding guilds than I was expecting there to be. We're getting four to five sets of world buffs every single day, even now. 
it's three months into the expansion and if I alt tab to discord we have three sets of world buffs dropping today like there's so many world buffs happening all the time you can log on pretty much at between 7 and 8 p.m. every single day if you're standing in Beauty Bay or Stormwind you're bound to get a world buff it's so cool and when you get those world buffs as well even though people are saying that people have been quitting hardcore I see so many people in the game itself for those world buffs it is absolutely packed so either they have squashed the layers down which they might have but i don't think so because i logged on yesterday and i was on layer six so at least six but there used to be 10 so i don't know let me know if you're playing actively and you've seen anything different with the layering system recently but the point is we're two months in the honeymoon period is definitely over if you ask me but there's so many people playing and i think that's because the game itself isn't changing you have classic wow with one life that's the entire premise and then you can personally do whatever you want outside of that you don't have to rush to end the game if you don't want to you can if you want to like on launch i was definitely rushing as much as possible but now i'm a level i'm leveling in my own pace and when i get to level 16 because there are so many raiding green guilds people will be dying and they need to fill out those spots so you will always get a raiding spot like sooner or later you also have catch up raids like aq20 which i don't really see that many people doing but also set g i see tons of set g which is also a catch up raid so if you can't get like into a 40 man raid setup right away you can still farm prebis and do some catch up raids as well so there's definitely a lot of things to do at level 16 there's no rush to get there and I think that's kind of the appeal, or it's a part of the appeal at least. You can play hardcore in your own uh, kind of, um, in your own pace, at your own pace. You can come home from work, play for two or three hours, call it quits, come back the next day and do the same thing again. And you always have that element of you only have one life, so you want to pay extra attention. And it just adds something cool to Classic WoW itself. It's definitely not for everyone. But I think it has been, um, it's been drawing in a lot more people than I was expecting. Because hardcore, one life, it's kind of a niche category within an already niche category. Because classic WoW gamers in itself is a small player base, or not, not even just small, but it's a certain player base of the World of Warcraft community. And then you have the hardcore classic WoW community, which is another small part of the classic WoW community as well. So based on this being supposed to be a super niche community, I think it's so popular. It's been blowing out the water, absolutely, and it's so cool to see. Now, for the future of Hardcore Classic WoW, I think we're gonna see basically what we've seen recently, that people are not playing 12 hours a day anymore, people aren't rushing to do end game. people play at their own pace, they log in for the world buffs, they then level up their characters whenever they can. It's going to stay kind of popular, slowly fall down a bit, but if or when Blizzard ever comes out with a solo self found, which if you ask me, should come out around Christmas, because now we have Wrath Phase 4 has already come out, we have Retail Patch coming in the first week of November, that means there's basically no content planned for December, and a bunch of people have extra time left over during that Christmas vacation, now obviously not on Christmas day and stuff, but like lots of people have extra time, plus it's winter, you want like you're probably gonna stay in and play more during winter anyway so launching those solo self found if, even if it's a game mode or a server launching that around december i think would be the best time they could ever launch that so if they do that i think that's going to cause a spark for hardcore again draw people back in everyone wants to level up a character with solo self found to level 60 just to complete that challenge as well so i think that's what's happening here the player base will slowly fade a little bit but still gonna be very popular the end game is way more popular than i ever imagined it being which is super cool to see especially for me who is not really a hardcore player i'm I'm more of a softcore kind of hardcore player, I don't really do that much endgame content, but I'm looking to try. And for me that's cool to see that I now have options. Overall I do think the launch of hardcore servers have been way more successful than I personally thought they were going to be. Uh, even though I was really hopeful. It's just I could see them being really hype for a month then really die down really quickly, but the, the opposite has happened. 
like they became more popular than I was expecting, and the hype has been staying around the same. And people are still leveling, there's a bunch of people leveling all the time, you see people in the open world gathering world buffs, and you also have a way more popular endgame content type of player base than I was expecting as well. So it's really popular even two months down the line. The honeymoon phase is either still going, or it's just people are going to stay. I don't know, but overall, the actual review here is very positive. Hardcore has been so successful, if you ask me. Let me know if you have any different opinions in the comments down below. Basically, feel free to leave your review in the comments down below as well. But if I had to rate it, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Maybe a 10. 9.5? Either way, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and let me know if there's anything more you want me to cover, like e even in Classic WoW, Classic Plus, Phase 4 of Wrath, Hardcore, any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Peace.